right, Mr. Junior is going to be uh, helping me out with the Genesis. How does it sound, Factory? It sounds really good. Yeah. Sounds good, Factory? Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be challenging, but... I yeah, because there's no module for this. There's no Zen piece, there's no pack piece, there's no Metra. Exactly. Here's the problem that I'm noticing from the Factory system. The front of the dash, we can hear the singer kind of in the center of the dash, but... It's moving a lot to the left, to the driver's side. We don't want that in the SQ car. We want it to sound exactly in the center, 100% there. Um, another thing we're noticing is that the subwoofer is sounding like it's coming from the back. So usually when we do an SQ sound system as well, the subwoofer is in the back, but it sounds like it's coming from the dash. So we gotta accomplish all that with the factory system. That's gonna be the challenge. Cool. All right, let me step in here, let them get a preview of what it sounds like. All right, guys, we're inside the car, and that's where the tweeter location is, the mid-base location, and we got the top right there. That's the two-inch location right there. So we're going to be replacing all the factory speakers with aftermarket. We're going to be getting the signal corrected from the radio, running the cables, and we'll be back. And I'll play a little bit of it so you guys can get an idea. We have like 10 seconds we can listen to. Well, so nice to have So right now we took the door off and uh, that thing right there is really sealed. It's going to take a lot longer to get that off and hopefully we don't break anything because it's very dangerous, especially dealing with that part right there where the door latch is. It says that it's able to break really easily so we have to be extra careful. I want to do something um, kind of like a five car, five star stereo install but the problem is right now we don't know where the app's gonna be located. We have a couple ideas. The customer hasn't called us back yet, but we're gonna go ahead and find that out when he calls. So we're thinking underneath the tire, we can simply remove the toolkit and we can make a, a custom board there. We're thinking on the wall or maybe above. So those are our options, but we're gonna wait for the customer to call us back. So we'll have the time lapse going so he can simply do that work, get it done, and we'll be back. All right, stick with me, people. Look at that, the foam ring's on. The foam ring is on. I like that. They already sounded in the doors. Right here we're gonna be putting this one in to kind of keep the, it's like CCF foam, you see that? Kind of just keeps the seal in here, it's everything. <laughs> keeps everything from rattling. Oh. And this is the other portion they're gonna be doing. So, yeah. What's up, Marty? What are we doing now? Are you gonna do the sound editor? Removing the subwoofer so we can get more air, huh? We're gonna have to sound in that whole deck too, okay? 
for the sound end in the rear deck. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we already did all the doors, right? Yeah. All the doors are done. The rear deck is done. We need to do the lid. They're not done. The doors? The treatment? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Treatment, yeah. Sound dinner. What you guys saw him do. Okay. I think Junior has to do the... Uh... Check it out. Customer brought this. We supplied this. Oh dang! There's a big difference. Yeah, that one sounds like hollow still, and that one sounds solid. Yeah. Okay. Are we doing a beauty panel here? No beauty panel. What's up? I just want some clean wires. Also, by the way, guys, this is for the Hyundai. We made these um, rings so that way they can go mount the speakers. All right, so. Here is an update on the Genesis. See, they made that little cut right there. They made that cut so they could fit the um, plate, which they're going to be mounting the USB. I mean, the bass lamp. It's done already. It didn't Don't break. Don't you see it wet? Huh? Don't you see it wet? No. No, I hit the glue. Oh, yeah. I had it. My bad. So it goes back to the I didn't move. I picked up perfect. See, we're getting good luck now. <laughs> All right, so here is the piece. I'm sorry, I was not supposed to grab that. My bad. Okay, yeah, just put it down. Action! Tommy. Okay, so what's next, we're going to be using the DMRTA. And the reason why we're going to be using the DMRTA, we want to check all the signals in this vehicle. That's the first thing we have to do before we tackle this vehicle. So we got to check what's the best signal so we can grab it and mix all the signals so we can get a full range signal out of this system, this factory system, since there's no module built for it. Another thing we got to check is voltage output out of this because we don't want to damage any of the equipment the customer brought us. So we got to make sure the voltage is correct for whatever we're plugging in. That's about it. Oh, so pretty much what we're going to do, tap into all these lines where they found out which speaker is what. Check the voltage, see everything here, and butt out. What you'll see him doing right there. that all the wires have been soldered and the the resistors have been installed we're ready to go it looks good man so also we just ran the wires from the mid-range all the way in they're gonna do this side next which you guys will see on the GoPro and we're just gonna run the wire to the back But they're gonna get it going, okay? So this is what they made. They made this brace. It's kind of rise it from the floor a little bit. And then we're gonna go over here where they're now doing the plans on what it's gonna look like on the board. Can you stand this way a little bit more? Huh? Can you stand a little this way? It's a little bit. 
So now they're trying to make room for everything. This is what they're gonna make it look like. Oh, so nice. I'm trying to go make a room for everything. You're gonna go like that. Like that. Stretch it? Oh, that's... <laughs> I get it. All right, cool.
gonna show you the uh, install after that all that work and all that time and trying to figure out where everything's gonna go this is what it looks like everything's all worded has labels this is the power is going through we got all the lines we got all the things everything zip tied nice and beautiful symmetrical check out underneath looks good it's come out really nice Whew. next the mercedes no no what are you gonna do what else are we gonna do in here huh what else are we gonna do in here uh we gotta change the center channel speaker which he added that yesterday and the way we like to do things uh we let the customer take it with just crossovers uh we'll let him play it for about 100 hours after those 100 hours have passed and the speakers have been fully breaking in then we'll have him come in and get a true tune Cool. So complete EQ, complete everything. Talk to me about that little knob right there. What does that do? So we could, there's different settings I could control with that knob if we wanted to. I could control the center channel speaker or I could control the subwoofer. Obviously, we don't want to control the center channel speaker. So we're going to leave it to the subwoofer and we're going to control volume. So volume, you're really not going to play with it. But mainly the subwoofer, you're going to play with it. Also, you're going to be able to change between settings so let's say we give this customer different settings for a different type of sound so we're going to do a one seater and a two seater in this vehicle this particular vehicle right now we have it tuned for a two seat we haven't done the one seater until it's fully broken in cool sounds good though sounds really good surprisingly the, the mid bass i like it too well, the, with the up mixer, the main thing we're doing is we're using the subwoofer to do all the mid-bass power. Uh. The the way this car works is they're using the surround sound from it to create that mid-bass up in the dash. Yeah. But eventually, we'll have it more perfect here. We, we still need to tune it. So you get what you get right now until it's fully tuned. Cool. All right. It sounds decent for for not being tuned or not nothing. Well, just cool. crossovers that's it cool cool yeah all right buddy got you the gb i mean gs <laughs> oh wow man it doesn't fit looks like he's not gonna get one You gotta heat up that thing and mold it down a little. Cool. All right, man. We'll leave you to that task. Cool. There's the center channel. He made the plates, and then um, yeah, just gotta get that grill to fit. 
So this is the inside, guys. That's the inside. Let's see if I can get you a better view. So simple clean installation. That's the uh, subwoofer we made. A grill for it. And then if you look under here, you got all the clean wire. And that's the beauty. That's what you guys are going to see. Well, it came out good. All right, so let's start the music. I'm going to go with take it to the top. Okay, I love it. It sounds fucking good. I can hear everything in the center on top of the dash. It sounds really amazing. Can't wait. We're gonna do the um, we're gonna do the second tune in a hundred hours. Hey, what's going on? Check it out. So that's the end of the video. I appreciate you guys for watching me. I have a flashlight for some light. It's pretty dark where I'm at. I'm editing in the middle of the night. I'm sorry. Uh, I want to say this car was amazing. It sounded really good. Uh, this guy put a lot of faith in us and I um, hope he's happy. If you lasted this long in the video, I want to say you're the badass and you're a true fan. Thank you for watching and uh, I appreciate all you guys. And uh, Montego, thank you for letting us do your build. Five star. Uh, I didn't even show the, the. I don't think I saw it, but maybe you guys saw it, but I didn't show the five star logo. They laser engraved it and. Um, Maybe some of you guys saw that, but we didn't do it. But the wiring was a badass job. The work was a badass job. The guy spent a lot of money. It was sounded great. It sounds amazing, even without the other tune for the 100 hours. Congrats. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, comment, like, and subscribe. We hit over 3,000 subscribers. Woo! I'm proud of that shit. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. Uh, it's been a year for the uh, channel. And for to have 3,000 followers, I appreciate it. Thank you.